Hello, art people. Welcome to day one of a new lesson. This is called 100 Chart Sweaters. It will look a little something like this, but instead of six across, and harmony, this is down three, four, five, six, six down, it's going to be 10 across and 10 down. And the objectives are, I am building a loom so that I can explain why some woven artifacts are valued more than others. I'll know I've got it when I've given a variety of woven artworks to choose from. I share what woven artifact is my favorite and why. And before we get started, we're going to pause it here and we're going to watch a little video that teaches us our art vocabulary, which is loom, which is what we're going to make today. Um, warp, weft, and weaving, which is what we'll start on another day. So we're going to pause the video here and watch that vocabulary video. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need is just a normal size piece of paper here. You will get to have any color you want. Just let your kitty cat know what color you want. And then the kitty cats are the only ones allowed back at the construction paper station, so they'll have to go get it for you. All right, so now that we all have our construction paper color, let's go ahead and get started. We also need a ruler. So if you're a puppy dog, you can get out rulers for your table. And what you need, guys, what you need to do, guys, is turn the paper so it is like this. So it is long. This is called landscape mode versus portrait mode. So landscape is where it's longer like this. So make your table match my table. Okay, then you need to take your ruler. Now, the rulers are see-through. So you might accidentally have it upside down. So look at your ruler, and do the numbers look backwards to you? Do they look silly to you? Then you need to flip it so that you can read the numbers. Ah, yes, that's much better. Also, you want the large numbers to be on the top. These are the inches. We're going to use inches. So you want the little numbers on the bottom. So if yours looks like this, uh-oh, the little numbers are on the top. You need to rotate it like this. Okay. Now that our roller is facing the right way, you want to just bring it down to the bottom of your paper. So it's perfectly lined up with the bottom of your paper like this. And you can even make sure that the side over here is lined up with the side on the paper. And then we need pencils. If you're an alligator, you can get out the pencils and the erasers. Now I'm going to use a Sharpie just so you guys can see better. But you'll probably make some mistakes, which is okay. So remember to draw it light before you've what? Got it right, because you only get one piece of nice paper. So the first thing we want to do is just do a little dot on the paper at every single inch. So you'll see the number one. Look for the number one and po po point your finger to it. And then you'll see that the one is underneath this long line. So above the long line, that's where you're going to put your first dot. But it will be on the paper, not the ruler. And then don't move your ruler. Then find the number two and point to it. There's a line coming up for the, num the number two. So put a dot there. Continue going above each number, keeping your ruler nice and still. Now we have dots one inch apart from each other. Now you're just going to slide this ruler up. And it's very important that the edge on the side here is still on the edge of your paper. Perfectly still and even. So not like this. Not like this. You want to pay attention to this little tiny side on your ruler and make sure that it is perfectly lined up to the short side of your construction paper. And we'll do the exact same thing. So we find the number one, put a dot above it, all the way down. There, now we have uh, dots that are one inch apart. 
So then we're going to draw a line that connects these dots. So you're going to take your ruler and spin it like this. And you'll want the top of the ruler to be touching the top dot and the middle-ish, bottom-ish of the ruler to be touching the dot down here. The one right across from it, not this one. Not like this, not like this. The one right across from it. And then you will draw a line connecting these dots. And you'll just do that all the way down. Now it's time to fold our paper. So we need to flip our paper upside down so that the lines that we drew are touching the table. It's still in landscape mode. So it's long going from left to right, like a hamburger, instead of tall, like a hot dog. Then we're going to peel up the bottom corners and we're going to just fold this paper in half from the bottom to the top. So not from the left to the right. We're not making a book. We're going from the bottom to the top. So you're just going to peel the top bottom two corners up and then we're going to put them up here and we want the corners to high five with the top corners. Our bottom corners are coming up. We can see our lines. We're high-fiving our top corners, holding it down, and making a fold, like so. All right. Now, we are going to take a color. I'm going to use blue. So, if you're the kitty cat, you can get out the crayons. You guys can use crayons. I'll use a Sharpie. And we need to make a stop line. Actually, let's use red because it's a stop line. But my paper is red, isn't it? Okay, I think I can still do it. Hopefully you guys can see my red stop line on my red paper. So let's take our ruler and we're going to bring it up to the top. And we're going to line it up with the very edge here. And we're going to make a stop line. So you're just going to hold this still, draw all the way across. Like that. And then this is where we will stop. And then you guys can actually take an eraser and you can erase everything above the stop line. I can't because I used Sharpie, but you can erase all of these lines so you don't accidentally cut on them. So you can color, cover all those up. Now, if you are the puppy dog, you can get out the scissors. And you are going to cut with this folded, with the closed side facing you, you know, pretend like this is a taco. The fillings go in the top where it's open. The bottom is closed so the toppings don't fall out, right? The filling. It's very important that you cut on the filling part, not on the top, but the bottom, okay, of the taco. And it's also important that you cut on your line, but don't go past the stop line. Okay? So, cut on your line. 
and stop when you get to the stop line. Don't open it yet. Leave it a surprise for the end. Once you've cut all the lines, then you can open it up and we've made a beautiful loom. Yay! Very exciting. Let me try to flatten it out a little bit by kind of bending. Okay, good job. Now we need a large white piece of paper. If you're a bear, you can get the paper out for your table. Then we are going to glue this onto our paper. But we're only going to glue just the top, just so it doesn't come off. So make sure you leave room for your animal's head and your animal's feet. I'll zoom out a little. So you want to make sure that there's enough room up here for the head, right? And you want this to be, again, still in landscape mode versus portrait mode. This takes up too much of the paper and then you run out of room for the feet. If we go like this, we can glue that on and we can make little arms and we'll attach arms later instead of attaching legs. Anyways. So we're gonna use our bottled glue for this because we really want it to stay on. Mine is Elmer's rubber cement, but yours is Elmer's kids glue. So if you are the puppy dog, you can get out the glue for your table. And then you guys are going to flip this upside down. Ooh, it's much prettier on this side, isn't it? So this, we want this to be on the top, don't we? So let's actually flip it back over to the back now. We've decided this is the back with all the pencil lines. And find your red stop line and just paint the liquid glue on top, um, above that. Now let's flip this upside down, or right side up, I guess, and place it on there. There. Now we won't lose it. We'll glue the other side down later. Next time we're actually going to weave this through. That would be really fun. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one where we continue working on this project. Bye.